looking at some retro technology. Not that that's an uh, unusual thing on this uh, channel, is it now? But the unusual thing about this retro technology is it's not a computer, strictly. This is actually a uh, SLR camera from 1983, the Olympus OM10, which obviously, being from 1983, is not digital. It runs on 35mm film. Now, if you're 12 or less, you may want to look up what a 35mm film is, but uh, there's a picture, just to assist you. Now, as an aside note, uh, I was doing some research on this camera and thought I'd look up some pictures from 1983 to show what the world was like in 1983 and I came across this picture of this geek doing what I suppose they thought was a sexy pose for him and uh, yes, uh, trying to seduce the camera and I'm sure it's a picture that he no longer wants to have around. Now, as a quick comparison for this uh, camera, this is a picture of what Atari's technology was uh, looking like at the time. So, that's the age we're looking at. So, let's have a look at this bloody camera then, shall we? Right, and here she is. Mm. Retro quality built geekiness. Now she came with this camera bag, which is a practica. Yeah, one of them. Anyway, obviously not the original to the camera, and I'd say much later. So we'll just discount that straight away, leaving us with the camera, a lens, and a manual. The other thing to note is that the manual is to an OM20, although this is an OM10. Interesting. Obviously something's happened in the past. Well, we can have a quick look at the manual. Now, this was produced as camera from 1983 to 1987, and uh, it seemed to have a different way of doing things back then, because there is very, 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 very little written down. It's all pictures, which try to describe how to do things, obviously using pictures. And uh, sometimes I think words are better because this can lead to confusion at times, especially to people like me who are not terribly au fait with these machines, would like more detail. But I think it's a bit late to criticize that now especially as manuals have changed beyond all recognition 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 and are often not even uh, printed on paper these days so that's that so look at the camera herself here we are mm, look at that retro geeky goodiness obviously uh, lens cover Turn that off, and there's a lens. Mmm, it's nice. Look at that. Mm, come here, come here. I'm going to kiss you. Oh, look, you can see the uh, the circle in the viewfinder there. Isn't that? Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Right, anyway, here she is. Lens, obviously. If you didn't work that out, how the hell did you manage to watch this video? Anyway, body, main body. I'll take the lens off in a moment, but I don't want to expose the interior too much to the to the dust okay so main body the back obviously the viewfinder look look view look look the viewfinder if i twist it we can focus it to the limits of doing it through viewfinder right okay and the other side and the other side and the sensor and the light and a thingy and a thingy and a thingy okay top this is not a lesson in how to use a camera, so I'm not going to go through all these, but basics. <laughs> Windy thing, winds on film. Mm. Open, pull, and pull, 
and you've got access to the film bay. Film would have gone in there, wound across there, and gone into there. Now they still produce 35mm film, so I may actually experiment, get some film, and take some photographs with this thing. But it goes into there, winds on. I shall show you how this works in a few moments after I finish our quick tour. Okay, it's got a... Uh, well, it is motorised in some respects, so you've got an on-off button, a check, which gives you a visual and audio uh, thing that the batteries are working. The batteries in this had corroded, and the bay was uh, had lovely green stuff in it, which I've cleaned away. Uh, managed to save it, so uh, luckily there, because if it had been uh, in storage for a few more years, we may have lost her. Anyway, did I mention this was donated? Yes, donated by a gentleman I will work with who knows my geekiness. So, he gave me. We've got a dial here, which took me bloody ages to work out because it just doesn't, doesn't twist like that. Turns out you have to pull up the ring and twist it. And that's uh, to do with film speed. Here you have an adapter which allows you to control the shutter speed. Shutter button. Film wind. Film rewind. Sensors. Sensors. Yes, sensors. And let's quickly take a picture, shall we? Without opening it up. Okay. So, basically, to do this, you turn on the system. On. Gives it away. On. Uh, you'd obviously loaded up your film first. You'd look through the viewfinder. And yes, even though this is from 1983, it does give you symbols of film speed on the left-hand side of the viewfinder there. Isn't that cool? It'll tell you if you're overexposing as well, which is also cool. Let's see if we can change any of these settings here. What's that allow? What does that allow us to do? Uh, hang on, off-camera moment. <coughs> oh, I just snotted everywhere. I'm in a bit of trouble with snot today, and it just went everywhere. <laughs> right. Okay, there we go. Is that indecisive or is it? I think it's on auto. It's trying to choose the camera speed or lens speed or whatever it is. That's why that light was flashing there. Now, okay, we then advance our film to the next one and press the shutter button and just get this best we can. There we go. Now you hear that big clunk clunk click. That's the next fun bit of this camera. What I'll do, take this lens off the front. Inside, you'll see a mirror. Now this mirror, what it's doing is it's taking the image coming out of the lens, sending it up to coming out of the lens, sending it up to the viewfinder. And the film is right behind that mirror. So, for the film to get exposed, that mirror's got to move out the way, which is what happens just uh, do a bit of, there we go, the film moves out the way, so if I press, you see how quickly it moved out the way, now if I find another setting, we can get this to move out the way a bit longer, I'll be back, right, I'm back, obviously, uh, I've now found a setting that allows me to keep the mirror out of the way for longer exposures, so if I press this, you'll see the mirror flips up, Normally, back there, would be sitting the film. So right now, the light will be falling straight on the film, exposing itself. Doesn't that sound rude? Oh dear, must go and inform the Queen that somebody is exposing themselves. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so films on... Aliens are overtaking. Anyway, the light falls on to the film, back there. And, uh, yes, it's currently being exposed. And then when you release the button, the mirror falls back down into place. Isn't that cool? So there we are. Now, another cool thing about these cameras. Uh, probably occurs on modern cameras as well. But let's have a look at this. Yeah, it can be a bit of a pain to get on that, so that we're all lucky. Now, I've just got to do a bit of the old... Uh, 
Sorry, I'm making funny noises. I'll be right back. Okay, we've had to improvise and adapt. Now, these things have something called an iris. Now, usually you can adjust it for some, well, for some reason. It's not allowing me to do that at the moment. But there is a manual override here. Button. So, if I press this, you get James Bond style effects. Oh, yeah. There is the iris. Ooh. I would love, I'm not going to do it to this, but I would love to strip down one of these mechanisms to see just how that thing works. Amazing, isn't it? Love them. Now, yes, that can go on too far. And here we have the full selection of lenses. Now, I've not used an SLR. That's about to change. But I've not used an SLR, so I'm not au fait on the lenses. But you can swap and do all sorts of uh, different lens setups with this. And these are oh, cool. You could get a flash to go on here. Uh, motor controls and stuff to go on the bottom. That's where the batteries go in. I've got it loose because it gets a bit stuck ass. But there you go. That's the full setup. And that, my friends, is the Olympus OM10 produced from 1983 to 1987. Say cheers! Yeah. <laughs>